Get to this guy. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, I gotta be a bit careful here. I'm trying my best right now. One more hit and yes. And there we go, guys. Finally, the yellow heart is defeated. That was a bit of a mess of a fight. Oh, diamonds. Not bad. Well, let's eat the yellow heart real quick. And heart unlocked. Yellow heart ability unlocked. And let's go ahead and try that thing out. So do I just left click? Okay, so yellow heart is pretty much a normal yellow heart. What about right click? Golden City. No, the diamonds. That's my luck. That is literally my luck right there. I mean, it's a cool looking city, I guess. No, no, no. I, I don't want to deal with you. You know what? This is what we do with you. We, 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 we summon giant moons to come straight down. Wait, what's that in the sky over there? Do you guys see that? Ooh, an accessorial poster. Let's sign that real quick. There we go. And just in time for Christmas. Get your poster today at accessorial.shop. All right. Yeah, that was weird. Okay. So next page. And now we need to rip pair a robot? Where, where, where's the robot though? Was that there before? I'm not even sure. Oh, okay. So I kind of see what I got to do now. So I'm going to guess we got to give it two lava and five copper to repair this. So before I go up there, real quick, let's get past those mobs and get some of that lava over there. Actually, there you go. Enjoy guys. Okay. So get some lava. That should be easy. And some copper, which we already have a lot of copper. Not bad. So I kind of accidentally threw a moon at the robot, but I think he's fine. So two things of lava. Let's just right click him and pretend that's not right there. And five pieces of copper. So what exactly do you become? Are you something I could ride or something? Thank you. I can now finish my mission. Hey, no problem, buddy. Can I ride you now or something? Of course. Nope, nope, nope. Literally, it wouldn't be a next story video without a nuke. Why? It's even gonna break my golden city. Oh, well, that wasn't too bad. I guess. <laughs> Yes, on the bright side, we did get a shard, I think. Did we? Oh, we did get a shard. I gotta get all the way over there. Okay, this is a lot harder than I thought, but... Hey, there we go. Your infinity manual has been updated. I didn't get another ability, but I got a robo arm. Okay. Holy those enchantments. Efficiency five, fortune three. Missiles unlocked? Wait, what? We can throw missiles, apparently. All right, goodbye, city. Have a great day. I, I didn't even like you anyways. So, next page of the manual, hungry. Okay, so it's hungry. Hey, uh, creeper over there. I am so sorry about this, but it has to happen. Have a great day, buddy. We gotta feed the game. That's one out of three creepers. It shouldn't be too hard to find some, right? Okay, so where can I find some creepers when I need them? There's another creeper, so... Oh, that was a quick one. Oh, and diamonds, finally. Okay, last creeper. There you go. Three creepers absorbed. Nice. Okay, so it looks like the thing spawned right here. So without further ado, let's real quick. And shard unlocked. Okay, now we have the wide creeper ability. Also, the gauntlet's getting pretty close to being finished. So shard number five, what is a wide creeper? Oh my gosh. Wait, wide infinity creeper? Normal creeper. Yeah, you're a big boy. Uh, do you do anything? Left click, right click? Wait, uh, no, no. Oh, it looks like he's like a cluster bomb. Oh, they're baby creepers. Right, so now we have a wide creeper that we can just keep blowing up. But we got the next page of the manual, which is gonna say, unlock a new form of crops. Oh, interesting. So melons. How do I get melons? Either I gotta find a jungle or maybe one of the abilities gets it to me? Not sure. Okay, so I got a hit and I think I know what we might need to do. So it's with the infinity creeper and apparently we gotta blow him up on top of the forest. So right click? I don't think he hurts me, but oh, oh, that worked. Well, just like that, we are not touching another wide creeper again. That was way too many creepers in one spot, but now we can go ahead and make this melon thing, which I guess let's go ahead and do it up here. Why not? And just like that. Okay, that should be good. And there we go. Okay, green arena, green heart. And I guess that kind of makes sense. Not really white do the melons correlate with the green stuff? But now we got to give it copper. So I guess next here, green art. Where are the vegetables? Wait, what? Did you take my vegetables? I want them all back now. I didn't take your vegetables. What do you mean? And of course, it's a boss and he's already hitting me. Let's do this, my man. These are definitely getting harder and harder. Food quake? What's a food quake? Oh my gosh, that's a food quake. Okay, I did not know that was a food quake. Okay, let's go back down. Wait, does this work against him? Oh, it does. We can fight hearts with hearts. Yellow heart, go do your thing, my man. Food explosion. Oh my gosh. What? What the heck? That was sick. A few more hits and there we go. Finally get the green heart. Let's get rid of that real quick. Heart unlocked. And just like that, we get the green heart and a new green heart ability. All right, green heart. What do you do exactly? Okay, so it's pretty much that again. Not bad. We like out some hearts. What about right click? Oh, we literally threw out forms. Not bad. And now we got to get heat. Just heat required. Five lava buckets for who knows what. Where is the lava though? Oh, diamonds. We found diamonds for lava. Not bad. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now let's go back up. Okay, uh, one, two, three, and... 
Oh, find the magma armor within. Wait, what the heck are we in? Oh, it's the volcano. Interesting. Okay, so where the heck is this magma armor? What if the magma armor is on the top of the volcano? Oh, okay. Oh, wait, we were right. Okay, so at the top of the volcano, we have a chest and in there. Oh my gosh, a full set of magma armor. That is actually so good looking. Apparently, we can't cover me in debris, but hey, full molten armor. Not bad. Let's go ahead and put that on. Oh, and we can walk in lava. Not bad. Uh, Let's see if we left anything inside and oh, there we go. I guess we got the next shard. So there we go. Shard unlocked. And okay, I see what's going on now. We're getting a new finger on the gauntlet every single time. And it looks like we have three left. So what's the next thing going to be? Time to find an axolotl. So lapis blocks, an axolotl, and some ice. Or maybe I put the axolotl on top of the lapis blocks. I think that might be what I need to do. Okay, so doesn't make any sense. But why not? Let's try to find one in. Oh. We literally found one right away. What the heck? I mean, why not? Bucket of axolotl. And now I gotta get some lapis. Do I have any lapis right now? I do not have any lapis, but it shouldn't be too hard to get, right? Oh, there it is. Okay, nice. Okay, so nine lapis blocks and then one axolotl. So let's get this down real quick. And I guess without further ado, there's the axolotl. Nope, nope, get back here. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. Hey, okay, so we got him on the lapis. I, d I don't really know what exactly he's supposed to do, but that'll do it. Okay, but now that that's done, let's real quick get the gold ingots, fill this up, and I guess either get a new friend, but it's probably gonna be a foe. All right, Blue Heart, your worst enemy. I hope you can swim. Wait, is he gonna do water attacks? Okay, the usual slap, not bad. Go on, Green Heart attacks. We are gonna be fighting with spells again. Let's do it. Oh, this is not going good. Okay. Oh, geysers. Oh my gosh, that was sick. Water shield, destroy the minions. Wait, what type of minions do you have, buddy? Oh, wait, is it the fish? Wait, he has a fish minions? What the heck? Oh my gosh, Tsunami. No, no, chill out, buddy. Okay, if you more hits. Okay, two more hits, I think. And yes, and just like that, that is gonna be it for the blue heart boss. And where is that heart canister of his? Okay, there we go. We got the blue heart. So right click. So now we get the blue heart with left click, which is pretty much a typical heart. And now what about the right click of this thing? Oh, what the heck? Oh, that's sick. Literally an axolotl stampede. Go, my friends, go. Anyway, so next page is gonna be diamond iron helmet, gold ingot, and one string. We got the diamond. We got the gold ingot. I need string and an iron helmet. So I mainly just need string because all I got to get is some wood. So let's real quick go over here and one iron helmet. And now we just need one string. So easiest way is just to fire some missiles down and let's see if we can find something. Hey, okay. We got a mind trap. Okay. So I just need one string. Right I love you, but I'm not adorable. I love you. I love Oh, 
New Eden. A universe brimming with possibility and rife with adventure. Only the most Right, so I guess we can put it right there. One string. And I guess now we just get the sucking power in. So right click. There we go. Go in my items. Hey, okay. Diamond gold string and iron helmet. And just like that, we get the shard. Nice. A new golem power has been unlocked. X-ray goggles ability is now available. Okay, so do I just left click this? Oh, it's literally X-ray. Nice. So on the bright side, we can now see everything around us. But the main thing I'm happy about is we only have two fingers left and three more hearts. Oh, wait, but we gotta get the infinity gems too. So now we gotta make an amethyst beacon oh man okay is there anything amethyst around us so why not let's just go straight this way and see if we can x-ray some more over here oh and look at that okay nice uh let's get a real pickaxe going real quick because i don't know if this pickaxe will actually break normal amethyst so have those and with that we have 12 blocks of amethyst not bad so let's go ahead and make this down here why not and there we go oh okay did not realize that was gonna be for an arena but now i gotta collect 20 amethyst shards really i literally only have four wait what if i make this into x-ray give me one sec guys let's go find some amethyst this took a lot longer than i thought it would but let's go ahead and put it in purple orb beaming with power oh and there it is i hope you enjoy the show it's beaming with energy okay buddy let's do this wait rocket beams oh my gosh wait that is sick wait laser show transferring your pod into a ship provided by air as part of your capsule Aborting Captain an unidentified communicate Vectoring escape route Evacuation sequence initiated Station hull integrity mm. compromised Captain, this cloning facility was attacked before your capsule could be inserted into a ship. I initiated our evacuation sequence before we reached the hangar to avoid certain death. No need to thank me. This baptism by fire is certainly not what Air had planned for your first day in a pod. Rest assured, I am here to help. I'm unable to identify our attackers, but they are not currently targeting our capsule. This gives us time to locate a ship. Your pod may be able to fly through space, but like all capsules, it is unarmed. Now, let's get a better look at our surroundings. Ah, there is a ship still capable of flight. An Astero, no less. A fine ship indeed. I have highlighted the navigation section of your display. Board the Estero now. Mm. Our shields took significant damage in the attack. is also in need of repair. I believe the appropriate idiom for this situation is, we're screwed. Fortunately, the cavalry has arrived. Ships bearing air transponders are approaching our location. This is 
Balin Ferris, Commander of Air Security. All ships evacuating this cloning facility are advised to rendezvous at emergency coordinates. Several thousand civilians appear to have survived the attack. Let us make haste and join the fleet Commander Ferris is organizing. Your overview will display the ships in your... Captain, your vessel looks like it's seen better days. I'll repair you once you're in range. Commander Ferris, were you able to determine the identity of our attackers? Negative aura. Their transponders were cloaked and their hulls lacked any identifying information. I'd wager this was an act of corporate espionage turned violent. There are a lot of people in New Eden who want to get their hands on this technology, whatever the cost. Thanks to Commander Ferris's repairs, our ship is almost as good as new. At his command, we will proceed to the emergency coordinates. Enter warp formation. designated emergency evacuation zone. We'll be safe here while we regroup. A spot well chosen. This location's cosmic abnormalities will mask our port signatures from detection. But our appreciation of New Eden's natural wonders will have to wait. Captain, I could use your help. My sensors are picking up a strange signal nearby, but my forces are stretched thin defending the civilian fleet. Initiating scan of unidentified signal. Captain, hostiles inbound. We have to defend those unarmed civilian transports. All ships equipped for combat form up around me. My sensors indicate that these are the same ships that attacked the cloning facility. Several frigates are breaking away from the pack. They're targeting those civilian ships. This will be your first combat experience as a capsuleer. Too far away, Captain. Thankfully, our ship is equipped with a module that will boost our speed. Activate the afterburner module highlighted on your display. We're now within range. 
Lock your target. Target lock confirmed. Time to hit them where it hurts. Fire at will, Captain. Make sure to use both of them. Target lock confirmed. Time to hit them where... That's it, Captain. Let them have it. That's it, Captain. Let them have it. Target lock confirmed. Target lock confirmed. Time to hit them where it hurts. Especially when you're winning. Another hostile ship incoming. A cruiser this time. It's larger and better armed than those frigates. What an exhilarating way to test your combat abilities. Success, we must lock.
Now's your chance. Activate the webifier. Calculations, our destruction is 99.99% certain. Welcome back to the world of the living, Captain. I hope your death was not too uncomfortable. Your neural data has been transferred to a fresh clone body. But before you stretch your new legs, someone very important would like to meet you. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Vesper Calatrix, Air's Vice President of Operations. Commander Ferris spoke highly of your courage under fire. You went out with quite the bang. Since your ship was destroyed in a blaze of glory, Air would like to provide you with a new one. I will enable your station services panel so that you may board the ship provided to you by Air. Try not to blow this one up so quickly, but if you do, you can acquire a new Corvette at any station. Mm -hmm. Your next adventure will hopefully prove less explosive. We have a lead on who attacked the cloning facility, and we want you to follow up on it. Considering your recent experience, you're the perfect pilot for the job. I've sent you a module that will help you on the next leg of your journey. Captain, you can access objects currently stored at the station at which you are docked from your item hanger. Now, let a mining laser upgrade. A curious choice, Miss Calatrix. How will a mining module help our investigation? One of our agents in the field has intercepted a strange signal at one of our mining sites, but we're having trouble locating its source. 
We want you to investigate the signal. But if we're be- Duly noted, Miss Calatrix. Captain, you can fit the module to your ship by accessing the fitting window from the Neocom. It's funny. Let's fit your new module in a free slot. Now, bring the module online. I love you. I love you! I don't know what I'm supposed to be adding. Oh, did I already add it? I did. Do it? Now what am I supposed to be doing? Uh... Guys, um, uh, I don't know what am I supposed to be doing. Guys, I I'm talking to myself. Am I supposed to fix it? What am I supposed to do? A mine is a terrible thing to waste. Join air laboratories now to make a difference. Human information, abilities, technique. <coughs> <coughs> I know, I'm crazy. Hee hee hee! How do I do the upgrade? Is that how- Oh, there we go. Okay, I figured out. I figured out. I figured it out. Upgrade. If you can dream it, Great. you can achieve it. Air laboratories now recording. Hey, I'm hot. Not that type of hot, baby. The other type of hot. My, my body is on fire. Ha ha, baby. You bitch. Put up line for a second. How do I upgrade you? How am I supposed to upgrade you? I don't know how. Uh, um, I don't know what I just did. No, I'm not adorable. <laughs> not adorable. I never will be. <laughs> CC. Are you kidding me? I have to wait 14 hours for my next mission? Or my next challenge? Screw you! 
I want my next challenge now. That is not funny. It is not funny, baby. No, it is not. Because I want my new mission. I want my next mission. I didn't download this just to wait 14 hours. I don't know what I'm supposed to do! Trade, maybe? Is that what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to be training? What am I supposed to do? Um, soldier, I guess? Train. Yes. I think I'm just spending all my money, I think. I have no idea. <laughs> I love you. So that's all gonna get upgraded, I think. Um, oh, those are guests, not guides. Um, okay. I don't have money for that. I don't have. Here we go. Missions. Please report any suspected criminal activity to your nearest air security personnel. I love you. Why can I just mention it? At Air Laboratories, we bring together the best. How do I lose my character? That away. Um. Oh, I just popped my. I just popped my head. I don't know what I'm supposed to fix this.
Any suspected criminal activity to your nearest air security person. Division of Air Laboratories. I finally figured out. Ha! I finally figured out what I had to do.
drive active. You good? You think you broke your Drive active.
Oh dear. Oh, hold on, baby. I gotta be right back. I'm scared. on it in like what way I love you. Yes, I do. 